All right, RunMichigan.com here at the 2017 Fifth Third Riverbank Run with uh, USATF champion for this year, Dathan Ritzenhine. Uh, that pretty much wiped you out there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling it hardcore. So uh, where did it hit you? Uh, really months? like the last mile, mile and a half. Okay. I felt okay uh, through about 13 and a half, 14 miles, and then I just I started feeling it pretty good. and. Yeah. Coming up to a mile to go, I really, I saw I only had to run like 4.52 to get the record, and I thought I could do it, but I died really hard. It was easily my slowest mile of the course. Um, I just, I kind of ran out of gas, and uh, I could feel my lack of training big time at that point, and uh, yeah, my body was just cramping up all over the place afterwards, um, just, just having trained a whole lot, and just, uh, so I'm really happy with it, you know, coming off from where I was at, that was... Uh, pretty amazing to be able to do that so you said lack of training but uh you still kind of had the same plan that you were going to try to have uh, uh accomplish, or did it, things kind of change as it went through, i had no there? real uh, aspirations of getting the record or anything mm -hmm. i didn't wasn't thinking about the time right. and, when did that pop um, in your head you know probably at about 20k or so i mean i was kind of in the back i just kind of i had it in my head i knew what the pace was and i kind of knew we were running close to that pace and then, you know, I just kind of kept it going. And as it come through half, half uh, marathon, it was uh, 62.30. And I was like, okay, this is pretty quick. Uh, but <laughs> that's, that's when it started really getting hard. <laughs> <laughs> so is this starting to get harder for you uh, as, as age progresses? Or is it just you still think uh, um, training is going to make know, a difference? I could still put it out there. And right. so I really... <laughs> tell you the truth I took off I was off for four months probably um, and really didn't train a whole lot and so uh, I think I got a lot left in the tank still I mean this is this is I was not very fit for this race so um, so that I'm very happy with it right and looking back uh, Ron Michigan's been around for just about 20 years now yeah. and it seems like we've been covering you ever since yeah uh, looking back I mean since you started into high school you know the first couple uh, state meets and MIS and into what you've done now. I mean, any, uh, you know, good feelings you got right now? Well, any what? Good feelings, obviously. You're so oh, good. absolutely. I, I mean, mean when looking back over that career so far. Yeah, it's uh, it's funny because as you say that, you know, like you say, it's been, it's been like, um, yeah, like 20 years and shoot, I guess it's when the internet started <laughs> uh, that you guys have been around covering the sport and, uh, you guys started about the same time I started. I see the Hansons guys are right behind us. They started the group in uh, in 1999, and so um, that was the first professional group again. And so it's funny that small world, you know, uh, that has helped I think revitalize distance running in America and just having it covered with you guys, Let's Run .com, um, other online platforms. Uh, you got groups like the Hansons, um, you know, and those things have made a huge difference and you see that now and so uh, before you had guys roaming around doing the circuit just kind of doing their thing now you have training groups everywhere you know people in uh, here you know they're in Rochester or there's groups down in, uh, uh, in in Portland and Eugene and Flagstaff and they're everywhere you know and uh, that's pretty impressive and pretty incredible and spent 20 years in the making but look where we are now right. and for you personally uh, what, what's the next step from here uh, after uh, after getting some rest yeah uh, like I'm probably gonna cool down in the pool because uh, I'm, I'm hurting you know but um, I just need to keep myself healthy and so I really just need to get in shape now um, I really I, I want to just do some road racing over this uh, summer, you know, some 10Ks and stuff. And so uh, I just need to, I need to get myself in shape, though. I've done I did one 20 miler before this, and a couple tempo runs, and a couple I've been in, I was only in flats a couple times. So I just need to get some basic fitness back, and um, I'm gonna I'm recovering hardcore after this race. So like I, I'm gonna take a couple days off probably. Um, just run on the Alter G and do cross training for a couple days, um, but I'll, I'll get back into it pretty quick too. Um, some shorter stuff I like doing. The, it's good. I think it's always good to keep that engine going with right. the shorter races. So some 10Ks and stuff. Um, not not necessarily race myself into shape, but uh, but use those as training workouts as well. And and um, you know I just like I like racing. It's after seven months off. You know, if, if uh, 
if I wouldn't turn around and do a half marathon, but I'll be I'll be racing before you know it. Cool. Congrats again on today. I know you're uh, pretty sore and beat up, so definitely thanks for the time today. Thanks. Appreciate it. So.